please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Raptors? Today is Wednesday, October 23rd. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Now on to the daily news. Hey Raptors, if you have any out of school photos with you hanging out with your friends, please go look in the JMMS Google Classroom and fill out the form. All the information is in the form. This is where the form is in the school-wide Google Classroom. Thanks Raptors! Hey Raptors, the Black Student Union is meeting today. They're going to meet during A lunch in D108 and B lunch in C101. See you there every Wednesday Raptors! Go Girl Empowerment Summit on November 8th. 2024 from 9 a.m. to 1:30 p.m. If you signed up, come see Miss Brinson in room C101 for a permission slip and a release form. Forms due by Friday, October 25th. Hey Raptors, it's Mrs. Koenigsfeld, your librarian, and I'm here with a library update. We've finally finished fixing all the books, so the library will be open for lunch on Wednesday, October 23rd. If you choose to come in at lunch, there are some rules you need to follow. First, there's no food or drinks in the library. Finish your food before you come. No phones are allowed. If you want to use your phone, do that in the commons area, not in the library. And you're going to come in through the commons area doors. And right when you come in, there'll be a uh, computer set up for you to sign in on a Google form. While you're there, you can read, play games, color, do your homework. There is no running around in the library. And then no in and out. When you come into the library for lunch, you're in. So remember, the library is only open on Wednesday this week, Wednesday, October 23rd. And I do hope in future to be able to open on most Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, it just depends on if the library is being used. Have a great day, Raptors! Weekly shoutouts to Emma. This week, I will interview Miss Brinson. Your name? My name is Rosalind Brinson. What grades do you teach? I teach 7th grade and 6th grade ELA. Who would you like to shout out this week? I'd like to shout out Abrielle Pendleton. She's a sixth grader in my sixth period class. Great kid, love working with her, and I hope she does continues to do well this year. Now I'll interview Abrielle and ask how she feels getting picked. Name? Hey, Abrielle. What grade are you in? Sixth. How do you feel that Ms. Brinson shouted you out? Uh, I feel good, because like, I'm a good student. Good job, Abrielle. Trends by Deja R. This week's trend is Crocs. Today I'll be interviewing 6th grader Jace. Name and grade? Um, Jace and I'm sixth grade. Um, do you own a pair of Crocs? No. Uh, what do you like about Crocs? Uh, well, they're different and they're close, so yeah. And then, um, what pair would you get if you got the chance to get a new pair right now? Uh, the Shrek ones. The Shrek ones? Okay, bye. Now I'll be interviewing 7th grader Jordan. What's your name and grade? Jordan, and I'm in seventh grade. Do you have a pair of Crocs? Yes. Um, what do you like about Crocs? I like how like they're really comfortable. Okay, and if you were able to get another pair of Crocs right now, what pair would you get? Probably like a, some pair of white ones. Okay, thank you. That's all for today, Raptors. Have a great day. Where in the world is Ramon Reveal? Facts about Disneyland. It used to be a parking lot 49 rides, and the original name was the Mickey Mouse Park. Here's a photo of Ramon at Disneyland. Bye, Raptors. Have a great day, Raptors.